All right, so in this video, I'm going to talk to you about buttons, button configuration. So in this game, you have the usual layout, which is left punch, left left punch, left kick, right kick, right punch. Uh, you can also set your buttons to either throw, left punch, or right punch, left kick, or right kick, left punch, or right kick. Uh, these are just the uh, I would say the short, the shorthand range of doing things. You know, you could even use it for king's throw and stuff like that. Um, as I was just demonstrating here, you could use it for King's Throw. So, I'm going to try it again. There we go. So, this is the easier way. If you really want to get like the rolling death cradle so easy, this is his move list. I'm going to show you how to, how to do it very easy. Let me just see if I can find it on there. Um, here we go, rolling death cradle. It, that's the command, right? So, and this command is grab, left punch and left kick. Left kick and right kick. So, I've set, as you can see my buttons, left kick, right kick. Right punch, right kick. Left punch, right punch. Then it's left punch, right punch, left kick. Now, again, so this is what's, so this is what's set to punch here. Yeah? So when I get to this part, all I've got to do is button buffer it by holding this. And press X. Now you can see it. So I have to do. So control setup is this. This is not my usual control setup. If we wanna, let's restore it back to the default settings. I usually have uh, Rage Arts with um, R1 on PS4 pad, and then I have this as left L1, which is left punch, right punch, and I have. This is L2, which is uh, left kick and right kick. The reason being is because most time when I play and someone does a one plus two throw, I can break it like that by just pressing the L1. Uh, I was thinking it's a, it's a good exercise to kind of like just know what you're what you're doing and stuff. And this is just for stances. Most stances, um, depending, it's usually three plus four with most stances. Or I just do it for like a strong move. Usually it's like something really strong. So I always have it for that. And yeah, I don't really have anything on L R2. I just only have um, Rage Art as um, R1, which is this. So yeah, that's the button configuration. It's used mainly to kind of like just, I would say, it's used more or less to kind of make things a lot more easier for you. You don't have to make make it things hard for yourself. If you can't, I usually play with the claw style, which is I press buttons like that, so I go like that and press it together. Sometimes you miss input because you press one button a bit too fast. This now, when you've got button configuration, it makes it a lot more easier. When you press one plus two, it actually registers as one, as one plus two. Uh, you ain't gonna have no miss input. It makes it a lot more easier. It's nothing more than having a game where you play somebody and you press one plus two like this, and then you get a one two instead of one plus two. So sometimes it's better just to have it as um, have it either as uh, configure ready, uh, configured already as a shoulder band or you can butter buffer so so like I don't know if you don't know about button buffer if you don't ain't seen it you just hold the button and you get you get it out like that I never had time to do the rest of it but yeah that's how you do it you, button configuration is really good it's even just sometimes you can butter, you can buffer it into move like that like you hold it down like I'm doing now look I can always do that that's four one plus that's four one plus two but because I, I'm holding two all I have to do is press one and forward or you could just do it like this <laughs> by pressing the shoulder button. So it's entirely up to you and what works best for you. But yeah, guys, this has been King J. I hope you enjoyed this. If you like it, leave it, leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Remember to subscribe to the YouTube. Yes, let's get it. Peace.